Take some Vaseline and apply it to your hairline and to your eyebrows so the latex doesn't get stuck to your hair. I was lost. Take the zipper and play around with it a little bit just so you know where exactly you want to place it. I'm using Mehran's liquid latex to glue on the zipper on my face and I'm using a Q-tip to apply it. I'm pretty much just applying the latex where I want the zipper to be and then uh, when I put on the zipper I'm just pressing down the zipper onto my skin with my fingers just to secure it. Once I have the zipper where I want it to be, I'm gonna cut off the uh, extra using some scissors. You don't have to do this step if your zipper is not this long. My zipper is a little longer than I want it to be, so I'm just cutting off the extra. Once you got the zipper on, you can't really eat. I really, really wanted those Nutella sticks though. Now that I have the zipper on, I'm gonna go in with some latex and a makeup sponge and I'm gonna apply the latex with the makeup sponge on the left side of my face. We're gonna apply just a thin layer. Now that I have the latex all over my skin, I'm gonna go in with some cotton balls and I'm just applying it randomly onto my skin and this is to just give the skin a little more texture and once I have the cotton on, I'm gonna go in with another layer of latex over it. Now I'm just applying another thin layer of latex all over my face. Now it's gonna be both sides of my face and down my neck. I'm not very good at explaining things but basically what I'm doing is I'm just taking little pieces of cotton and applying it to my face and then with my fingers I'm just spreading it out so it looks a little thinner and then again going in with more layers of latex. You can make this easier for yourself and cut the uh, fabric part of the zipper. I just forgot to do that but it ended up working when I applied the latex and the cotton so it wasn't like visible so you can make it work but it would be easier if you actually cut the fabric. When I see the latex and the cotton is getting a little dry on the spots, I'm just gonna go in with my tweezers and I'm just gonna pull it apart a little more, make some holes, give the skin more texture. So pretty much all you're doing is applying 3 to 4 layers of latex and then one layer of cotton and once it's a little damp to like it's once it's not too wet and it's a little sticky you're gonna take some tweezers and just like pick at it and make holes and just give it more texture just give it as much as texture as you can. Attention, girl, I know you, know you, but you're everything I want in life. Yeah. We're fighting danger like kung fu. kung fu. The love I feel is deep inside. The others don't matter. It's honestly us against the world. We're the perfect team. my dream. So I'm just applying a thicker layer of cotton on the eyelids so once it dries it's just gonna 
give my eye a droopy effect so it's just gonna look like my skin was burnt and melted down sure you don't forget to apply the latex and the cotton on your ears because that's just gonna make the whole look more real and it's just gonna bring the whole look together now I'm taking um, fast coffee you can use regular coffee but I just had that so I'm gonna use this and I'm applying a layer of latex and then I'm taking that coffee and I'm just sprinkling it all over my skin and this is just gonna give the skin a brownie burn texture so once I have the coffee sprinkled all over my face, I'm gonna go in with another layer of latex just to secure the coffee in place. And it's just gonna take away a little from the darkness too, cause we don't want it too, too dark. And now I'm gonna be using Master Bruise Wheel by Ben Nye and I'm gonna go in with the lightest dread shade. I'm applying that dread shade around the eye and over the eyelid. And I kind of went back and like mixed the lighter red and the darker red together and then just applied it all over the eye. Now I'm using Lorax uh, Black Gel Liner and I'm using the same brush and I'm applying this around the uh, red and the corners just so it gives the whole look more depth. Now I'm using the black gel liner and I'm mixing it in with the bright, sh uh, bright shit. Oops, bright red shade from the Ben Nye's uh, palette, and I'm just applying that where I made the little holes on my skin. Now I'm taking the red bright shade from Ben Nice palette and I'm pretty much just applying that all over this uh, latex with a fluffier brush just so like it takes away from the actual color of latex and it makes it look more um, bloody and red. So pretty much what I'm doing right now is I'm just mixing up the lighter and the darker red shades and I'm just applying that all over the face so it gives the face more detail because you don't want it to look flat. I don't know what that whole hand gesture was but what I'm trying to say is that I'm gonna go and get the other side of my face uh, glammed up and I'll be back. Now I'm going in with my Ron's fake blood and I'm focusing that on the other parts of the face where I made holes and then I'm just lightly applying it all over the face. <laughs> And now I'm going in with glycerin and I'm applying that with a makeup sponge and this is just gonna bring the whole look together, it's just gonna make it look very juicy and droopy and just disgusting. Tap off the excess and this is the final look, I really hope you guys enjoyed this look.